just being being denied is not something you know you take l's but being denied is a very hard l to take <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to set y'all up and it's acting stupid. Oh, sis, work with me. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am doing. Oh my god, if y'all hear the air, it's because it's hot as hell. And sis, it's too hot to be in my damn car with no damn air on. I'm in a car mukbang, give me some Mexican food. They forgot my drink, so I ain't trying to be. I ain't trying to die up in here, so I got me some water because, bitch, I'm not gonna be dying in this car. Today, I'm doing a car mukbang slash life update type of video. So we're just gonna be talking about all types of stuff. I got me some Mexican food. I got actually. I'm fat as fuck, like, look at that. I got a steak, a steak quesadilla and nachos. So this is the steak quesadilla. Look at that, sh look at that girl, like, look at that. Oh my God. And then let me show y'all the nachos because I don't know if the nachos looking right. This is the nachos. Look at that. Let me get a thumbnail real quick. Hold on. Um let's get into this life update y'all really can't see my food and i feel like that's pointless but you know what it's whatever do y'all eat green sauce or red sauce i like green sauce let's talk about okay so there's a lot of different topics i need to tell y'all about because uh, life has been hectic right now and i promise you like i'm like going through it like it's so much going on in my life and y'all be wondering why I don't post that much. It's because I got too much going on in my life. It will be 34 weeks on. This sauce is tasting weird. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, I'm not eating that. But um, I'll be 34 weeks. Uh, Wednesday, I'll be 34 weeks. This coming up Wednesday. This video should be out before Wednesday. So. I'll be 34 weeks, right? And like I'm already having like I guess you would consider Braxton Hicks or like mild contractions. It's over it. I'd be in so much pain, y'all. But I can't go to it's not like I can just go to the hospital and be like, okay, I'm ready to have a baby. No. I gotta wait for the baby. And it's way too I mean it's not way too early. I had my son at 38 weeks, so it's not way too early, but I don't want me, my baby to be a preemie. You know, I don't want to go through that because there's so many moms that go through that stage and they say it's hell. So I don't want to go through that with my baby or anything. And all y'all didn't know that I'm having a boy. Somebody commented on my um my baby video and was like, "What are you having?" I'm like, "I thought y'all knew I'm having a boy, y'all. I'm moving." Yeah, I was stressing. This is another reason why I was going through a lot and I wasn't really posting. Like, I was like um, stressing about getting a new apartment because I cannot live in my apartment no more. It's too many, it's too much. And I don't even know if I want to make it that video. And I don't like my neighbors at all. And at first, it started with my upstairs neighbors, but now it's turning into be like. The neighbors around me um i'm just not happy over here y'all saw my vlogs i was out um doing apartment tours everything like that going and viewing apartments but like you feel me like i was applying for apartments and y'all know that whole process is not easy actually being a youtuber is harder you're a full-time youtuber because if y'all know i'm not at my job anymore um my part-time job i had because of me being pregnant i just i rather not right now because it was just too overwhelming too stressful and i was not going to be working there while pregnant being overwhelmed so um i wasn't working my part-time job anymore so basically it's solely on basically my um youtube pay stubs and then a co-signer um so i had to have my mom co-sign because youtube pay stubs you cannot rely on it like i mean you can rely on it but like it's just harder 
to get into an apartment with you two pay stubs because one they be acting like they don't know what it is two they be acting like it's some illegal shit the apartment that i really wanted y'all denied me i didn't have credit history you no know, 20 year olds that do have good credit history or whatever um but i need to start working on my uh credit but it never said I and then I saw the denial letter. It never said I had bad credit. It said I had no credit. So I'm like, well, if I ain't got no credit, how y'all gonna base it off my credit? Um and then it said something about my Google pay stubs or whatever. And I'm just like, whatever. I mean, obviously it's not meant to be, but God blessed me with something better because this apartment was gonna be a two-bedroom. It was actually going to be a two bedroom, one and a half bath. Um, I would have a bathroom in my room, but it was small as fuck. But it was nice as fuck. Okay, it was small as fuck, but it was nice as fuck. It's more expensive. And it was in the area I wanted it to be, you know. But, you know, I just didn't, it was just not meant for me to be. Ever, the other apartment that I got approved for, is right down the street from those apartments. Same area that I want it to be. It's convenient, like everything is where I want it to be. Um, there's a Walmart, there's a Fresh Time, there's a Super Target, uh, hella restaurants. Everything is in the distance of where I like it to be and it's also a nice area. So, and this apartment is a two bedroom, two bath and it's also bigger. So I'm like, oh yeah, and, it, and I'm paying less. And also I get a washer and dryer hookup, like, it's like an all-in-all -all win so it was like meant to be that i was supposed to be there instead of there um, just being being denied is not something you know you take l's but being denied is a very hard l to take it's like damn like really god ended up you know coming through this is the part that's stressing me out i have to be out my apartment that i'm staying at july 31st but the baby is supposed to be here my actual due date july 28th that's a few days before you know everything and then on top of that my apartment that i'm supposed to move into won't be ready to august 13th see this y'all see where the top like i won't be able to move into my apartment until weeks after the baby is here and then me being able to i gotta put everything into storage i gotta um Get a, get a storage room and I mean that's no problem get a storage room and move in but it's like I don't know when this baby's gonna actually come because Tatum came in 38 weeks I don't know if it's gonna come on the 31st it's just so much y'all so I gotta move my stuff in storage and I'm gonna stay with my mom for uh, a few two weeks until my apartment's ready but she said it could be ready before you know that actual date or whatever it does become available before that actual date that's even better Moving is like really stressful. I want a new journey. I want to bring my baby into some a good space. I want my kids to be in a good area. I want to be able to, you know, be at peace. I lived and I learned. This is my first apartment by myself. But like I said, you live and learn, you know, everything comes with, you know, trials and tribulations. But this time, I live and learn, but this time I'm going to put that into uh, work. Will I keep the apartment the same way? I'm trying to get, like, I don't want no old vibes of this apartment in my new apartment at all. My, some of my friends was like, no, girl, you need to keep your stuff the same way. No, when you've been like, when you don't want to be reminded of certain things, um, you just want to throw that away like i really don't i'm not probably gonna throw it away i think i'm gonna sell it like some of my furniture pieces but i mean if it doesn't get so i'm gonna have to throw it away but um i just want a fresh look and then with my new apartment i already got in my head how i want it to look mm -hmm. mm, this is so good look at this and i got steak nachos y'all probably like why are you not eating none of this them um what is this peppers and a pico de pico de gallo pico de gallo sometimes i eat i think it's my pregnancy like certain things i just can't eat i'm definitely doing an apartment tour i'm gonna start oh i'm doing a home series too y'all 
so a lot of y'all liked when i was doing like home series and decorating my apartment and stuff and all that that's all coming back and i'm making a home series but i don't know what to call it i want it to be something cute and creative like tati's makeover or something like that i don't know y'all got some ideas please let me know and i'll probably use your name oh yeah y'all with my business a lot of y'all like what about the business da, da, da. i'm definitely gonna have to put it on hold it's not on hold right now you can still shop make sure y'all shop with me um everything will be in the description box my website all that stuff i always keep a little coupon code for y'all um it's not on hold right now but i will probably have to put it on hold mid july just because I mean, um, everything is gonna be in storage, so I don't, I don't, I'm gonna be putting my business stuff in, um, in storage, so no way I'm gonna be able to pack orders. So I just wanna put that on hold. It's gonna be on hold for probably a few weeks, maybe, maybe about a month. I ain't gonna lie because you know I want to be able to settle down with my new baby. I don't want to just rush into um, the biz, back into the business, and then I have to pack orders. I'm overwhelmed with orders. Although I do have assistance, um, I have Brandon Bassett, you know, volunteer to help me with orders. Um, I just, you know, me, I, I never, I don't really like, I don't be needing it, but then I do need it, which I don't know why I don't accept the help, but I may have her come over and help if I do start and I'm overwhelmed. The, the business will be back up probably a month after I have the baby or a month after I move into my apartment, actually. Definitely, I'm definitely cherishing, cherishing life with this new chapter. Like, I'm just all about my kids, and I feel like, I feel like that's why I don't have friends. People be wondering, like, you should do vlogs with your friends. If you literally see my friends, all my friends are moms. Like, I have mommy friends. I don't have regular friends I feel like oh this baby kicking i feel like the, the ones that understand you and understand that you you're busy or value their, your time the most are your mommy friends that can relate to you when you have kids other mothers know uh, i done lost so many people that's close to me because they just don't comprehend that I be busy. I got kids. I'm pretty much done. Look, I've been just talking and stuff. Um, I ate as much as I could. I ate a, one steak quesadilla, and I ate pretty much of my, um, pretty much most of my. Uh, what is that? The damn nachos. And hot. I'm getting hot, sus. I'm too pregnant for this. That is pretty much it for this car talk. Should I do more car talks? I should do a car talk story time. It's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, let me know if I should do more car talks or give me some topics. What I should talk about next. Cause your girl is hot and bothered and I'm finna take my black ass in the house and go to sleep. My kids aren't here. Hallelujah, I needed a bird. But yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll catch y'all in my next one bye